Welcome back everyone. Thanks so much for a thousand subscribers and all the support you've been giving me recently on my videos. Now this video is going to be a little bit different to my regular content, so it's not a devlog, but I'm going to be talking a little bit about how I actually got into programming and how I learned all about making a game engine and what inspired me to make this. Hopefully that will inspire you guys on your own projects or hopefully you'll find it interesting and maybe you'll make the project you've always wanted to make. Also, just so you know, I've created a Discord server and there'll be a link in the description to join that where we can just chat about what projects you're working on, any feedback or ideas. Uh, so join that and in the link in the description. See you guys there. All right, now I'll just give you a bit of information about me. So I've just turned 20, I'm a self-taught programmer and I'm currently in my second year of university studying computing. But my favorite thing is creating virtual worlds. And I mean, that's just because like most people my age, I mean, we've grown up with Minecraft and it just inspired me so much to want to create a massive virtual world. And I was obsessed with the game when it came out. I just had to play it all the time. I just couldn't get enough of the stuff you could do in it that you could, it just blew my mind that you could just play and break these blocks and it was just it was addicting not gonna lie anyway but as i played it more i found that i actually wanted more from the game and i saw mods that people were making in the game and it really interested me so i wanted to have a go at making my own mod and that was one of my first interests in actually wanting to program anything and i started out writing some mods for minecraft now i don't know if you can even count them as mods because they weren't really that good <laughs> uh they were basically just super simple all i could do was just a block but you know it taught me the basics of programming which was really good modding was perfect because you could mess around with the code and then you could see like a result instantly in the my favorite game minecraft and i really enjoyed that and that also inspired me i wanted to create the best mod you've ever seen and obviously that didn't turn out but you know, all of this programming with the Minecraft mods wasn't easy at the beginning. And as I said, the furthest I managed to get was just to make a block or an item in the game. But even so, I found that so fun. I wanted to create a really cool mod for the game. And my idea was so ambitious. It was going to be called the real life mod. And I was going to split every block in the game into little cubes. Every pixel would be a cube. Then what you could do is you could have physics and way more detail in the game and I was I really wanted to make this and I started working on it but then I found out that the Minecraft engine just couldn't really handle it and it would just be too difficult to really make in Minecraft so I just moved on to other ideas and kind of forgot about that now I had a bit of knowledge with Java from programming Minecraft mods you know I wanted to make my own game engine because I thought that was the next step and so I went on YouTube, you know, the best site for tutorials, and I found a video by this guy named The Benny Box. I'll leave a link in the description. The video might be a bit old now, but his video was really good. He showed a tutorial series on how to make an OpenGL game engine in Java using LWJGL, which is the same template library that Minecraft uses. So I thought that was a brilliant starting place. And his videos were amazing. I managed to actually make an engine by the end. I mean, I didn't understand half the code that I was writing, let's be honest, but I did manage to make something that looked cool. I started to lose interest in that project over time. It just became a bit too difficult after the videos ended and I moved on to other ideas. And this is the point when Epic Games released Unreal Engine for free to use for anyone and I was so interested in that they released a demo called a boy and his kite and that demo was amazing the graphics I thought were absolutely amazing and I don't know I just wanted to use Unreal Engine so I downloaded it instantly and tried to start making some games in there and I can tell you it is overwhelming there's a lot to do and it just throws it all in your face <laughs> But I kept at it and I kept trying with this and in the end I came up with a cool idea that I wanted to make. I wanted to make a procedural terrain system for Unreal Engine. Now this required me to learn C++ because Unreal Engine 
uses C++ as the programming language. I found a cool noise library to use uh, called libnoise. I'll leave a link again in the description for that library if you guys are interested in messing around with procedural terrain or anything. I thought it was quite cool. Maybe it will help you guys a bit. I managed to create this procedural trunk system where you could infinitely walk off in one direction or the other direction, kind of like in Minecraft. Now, I'm going to tell you that C++ in Unreal Engine was hell at the beginning. I really didn't understand any of it, and it just took me so long to even the build errors all the time, and, you know, it was a pain. Anyway, after a while, I again got bored of this project and wanted to move on to something else uh, more cool. You know, something else caught my eye, and that was AI, artificial intelligence and neural networks. And yeah, so neural networks really inspired me, and... I wanted to go back to Minecraft. I wanted to make a mod for Minecraft that could play Minecraft. So my idea was I was gonna create these little AIs and they were gonna learn to play Minecraft and survive in the world. I thought that would be so cool, you know? They, they fall off a cliff, they die, and then, you know, they breed, and I wanted to see what happens. So I started trying to write this from scratch in CUDA, which is a, uh, API and programming language that allows you to write code for the graphics card on Nvidia quickly. And I wanted to write a neural network from scratch. You know, I found out that this was a big challenge and after a couple months, I settled on using TensorFlow, which is amazing, I found out. So that was a good idea, that was a good choice. Using TensorFlow that actually allowed me to still design my own neural network to run on the graphics card, but it was so much easier to code and I really didn't have to do any of the background tasks. I started out by making a Minecraft mod that would render multiple camera views from all these different players in the game. And using these camera locations, I would then feed that into my own neural network that's randomly generated. And then we'd use genetic algorithms to evolve these AIs together. So if one dies, that neural network gets erased and is gone. And if it survives, it gets to breed and pass on its genetics, its neural network. So I left this running overnight, this, this program, and it ran through about 300 generations and they'd learn not to fall off a cliff. I put them on a big platform and on that platform, if they fall off, they fall into the void and they die. If they stay on, they survive to the next generation. And I wanted to take this idea further and then, well, I kind of got stuck. The Minecraft engine just couldn't handle it. My computer could only run about seven of these AIs at once. And that was about as much as it could handle. And to really make anything interesting, I needed to scale this up way larger. So I thought if I wanted to take this further, I'm going to have to create my own engine that I could make these AIs run inside of and basically live inside of. And that's kind of how I got to my current project that I'm working on, my voxel rendering engine. And that was designed firstly to be efficient at rendering multiple camera views because I wanted to train these AI in, the, in this world. With my previous attempt at trying to make a voxel system in Minecraft, I thought that it would what about just bringing all these ideas together into one project. And that is exactly what my project is now. I decided to use Vulkan because it seemed like a brilliant API. It has loads of control. It was very difficult to learn at the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, lots of it does actually make sense. Um, it's very coherent and I really enjoy the library. Now I understand it. The control that you're able to get is amazing. So I definitely suggest you guys check out Vulkan if you want. And also if you join the Discord, as I said, you know, I have some links for helpful tips um, on learning Vulkan. Vulkan also gave me the ability to create the low level control that I needed for an efficient voxel rendering engine. I've been working on this project for almost a year now. I've learned so much about Vulkan and C++ and I've got so much further to go. I've got so much more to learn. So I hope you guys will join me on that journey in creating this game engine and hopefully you guys kind of understand where I'm trying to take this. Anyway, so that kind of comes to the end of the video today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And 
It's a bit of a change from the regular content, but I just thought I wanted to explain why I'm making this engine and how I got into programming. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next devlog. So I'll see you guys then.